Hello guys, uh, Evans here and uh, welcome to this video. So in this video, we'll continue to look at the October-November 2018 IGCC ICT paper too. This time around, we'll start to look at mail merge and um, so you are required to carry out a mail merge to send invitations, uh, invitation letters for the Dawara Mining Open Day. So task 30, or rather step 30. So create a mail merge letter using the file n218invite.rtf as the master document and n uh, n218 data.csv as the data source. So in the master letter, replace the date field with a field to display today's date in this format, DDMMMYY, and take a screenshot showing that the date field code, rather showing the date field code and uh, place this into this document. Okay, so we're going to open um, the master file first of all. So the master file is invite.rtf. So by default, um, it will open with um, Word. So just double click on it. And um, so that's the master file. So the next thing we need to do is to um, link the master file to the data source. So you go to mailings and then um, select recipient, use an existing list. And um, we go browse to um, there. So let's find the name of the data source is data.csv, which is this one here, and link it. Okay. So now that you've linked it, um, you should be able to see on the insert merge fields, the fields that are in, um, uh, available for you to use here. So what we need to do now is to um, insert the date field here with the date in the appropriate format. So insert then quick parts um, field and then look for date the date here and the date is supposed to be dd dash mmm dash yy like that just verify that you've got the correct format that's fine and say okay and the date has been inserted so the next thing that you're supposed to do is to check the format of the date and take um uh, rather take a screenshot of the uh, field codes. So right click on it and say toggle field code and then get a screenshot of this. Um, this is evidence that you've set your date in that correct format. Okay. Good. Um, so I'll have to toggle this back to the value. So go back to the question paper. Um, that's a step 31 says in the master letter, maintain the existing space in punctuation and replace the chevrons um, and text um, each time they appear with the following merge fields from the data source. So these are the merge fields, um, title first, last, add one, add two, add three, post, state, born and real. Okay, so, so we'll replace them with this. Okay, so just go ahead now and do just that. So the first one is title. So maintain the spacing, which means just end at there. Don't go beyond like um, when selecting um where you go like this okay this is you will not maintain spacing like this so select only from the first um chevron to the last chevron um and then go ahead and mailings insert match field this is this must be title then the next one must be first name then last name just like that um then add one Um, for add to, um, you can get, um, let's see, the mesh field for add to, address to, can be something like the town, and then for add three, can be the county, um, like that, and then this is the postcode, um, postcode, 
let me just verify between add two and add one yeah it's down and county then postcode status bonus and reward okay so where are we so first name then we read through um, status then read through bonus so just make sure that where you have the the chevrons you replace all the text there's one more perhaps that have not um, is reward it's supposed to be here reward okay good um so i guess this is this is done um next step is replace the text and name with your name include your name center number and card number in the header um of the document okay so your name here candidate name so we'll just say chikasa um just do this chikasa evans and then we set a header and then we'll say chikasa evans zm556 and 0001 Okay, so that is done for this one. Um, the next one is supposed to be uh, reflect the image so that the ingot image looks like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to, first of all, we find out how it's looking. So it's supposed to flip the other way around. So, um, okay, so go ahead and uh, go to select it, go to format and reflect flip horizontal like that um then next save and print the master letter with the main field displayed okay so go ahead and show the fields uh the field codes and so these are the field codes okay and uh, you need to print your document um, with these field codes so what you need to do is just go to file uh, print and then you show um, you print the field codes here okay Good. All right. So next step is to go to step 34, set an automated filter to select only those members with the status of elite. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, go to mailings, edit recipient list, go to filter and under status you want to check only those that are elite so check the spelling for elite um, that's fine and say okay so these are these the guys so basically you'll be asked to show evidence of how you did this so before you even close the window um you come here and say filter and get a screenshot of this window so this is evidence that you have shown uh you set the status to this okay and paste it in your evidence document. Good. Um, the next thing that you're supposed to do is um, merge and print the letters for the selected members only and save and close the files. Uh, make sure that you've entered your name, candidate number, and set a number on your own letters. So come here and say OK and OK, and then go to merge and finish. Then edit individual uh, documents, all of them. And so these are the merged letters and then now you can print these letters um if you want okay right so this has been the mailman section and um shortly i will be recording the section on presentation and hopefully you find um, um the video informative okay so see you in the next video in a bit